During the final Prime Minister's Questions session of 2017, Prime Minister Theresa May made a bit of a fool of herself as she sort of defended homelessness. In 2009, the Prime Minister said it was a tragedy that the number of children falling into the poverty cycle was continuing to rise. Every child deserves to have a roof over their head and food on the table. Yet on her watch, in Wandsworth alone, the number of families forced to survive on food banks is continuing to rise, yes. and two and a half thousand children, yes, children, will wake up homeless on Christmas Day. So my question is simple. When will this austerity-driven government say enough is enough and put an end to this tragedy? Prime Minister! Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Well, the Honourable Lady should note that, in fact, this government has lifted hundreds of thousands of children out of absolute poverty. But, but I think it's important, it's important for all those who have heard her question to be aware of this. She talks of 2,500 children in Wandsworth waking up homeless on Christmas Day. Anybody hearing that will assume that what that means is that 2,500 children will be sleeping on our streets. It does not. It does not mean that. So you can understand why there was a bit of a reaction to that, because instead of Theresa May focusing on the plight of homelessness and what her government is going to do about it, she instead tries to defend herself by defining what exactly homelessness means. So it doesn't mean children, you know, just sleeping on the street. Maybe they're in hostels or in non-permanent housing and aren't really sure where they're going to move to next and may not be sure where they're going to get their next meal from. So yeah, homelessness doesn't just mean living on the streets. That also doesn't mean that they're happy or that they, they're having great lives because they aren't on the streets. Now, there's some actual data on this. Figures show that more than 9,000 people are sleeping rough on the streets of England at any one time, up 134% since 2011. Over 79,000 households, including 120,000 children, are meanwhile homeless and living in temporary accommodation, a rise of 65% since 2010. Recent research by Charity Shelter also revealed that child homelessness has reached a 10-year high, with nearly 130,000 children in Britain set to wake up homeless and in temporary accommodation this Christmas. And just because a family is living in temporary accommodation instead of directly on the street doesn't mean that they're doing well. Alin Khan, a doctor, said that in her constituency, families were living in overcrowded or unsuitable accommodation or were sent to other areas of the country. I still work in St. George's A&E in Tooting, and I see children coming in with chest conditions because their accommodation is not fit for purpose. So homelessness is a serious problem in the UK, and maybe instead of trying to clarify what the word means, Theresa May would be better off trying to actually do something about it. 